Hi, my name is Kelly. I'm going to be your pharmacist today. How are you? Um, I'm a little overwhelmed, but I can talk to you for a few minutes. Okay. Um, are you picking up these medications for yourself? Or are you picking up for somebody else? Uh, for myself. Okay. Um, I know you said you're a little bit worried. I just like to take five to 10 minutes of your time um, just to go over your new prescription and your refill and then answer any questions and concerns you have. Does that sound okay? Sure. Okay. Um, before we begin with the medications, can I just verify some of your information? Yep. All right. Can I get your name? Um, Sam Sockwell. Okay. And then your address? 11 Joseph Street in Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, great. And then your birthday? February 6, 1990. Okay. And then what current medical diagnoses do you have or current medical conditions? Um, I have eczema and I have a heart condition. Okay. And then what prescription medications are you taking? Um, just the ones that I'm picking up today. Just these two? Mm hmm Okay. And then what allergies to um, prescriptions do you have or allergies to medications? Um, none that I know of, but I do get a stomach ache when I take amoxicillin. What amoxicillin? Okay. So I'll make a note for that. All right. And then what, if any, herbs, um, supplements, or vitamins are you taking? I'm not taking any herbs, vitamins, or supplements. Um, but I do take an over-the-counter medication. Okay. Um, what over-the-counter medications do you take? Um, I take a hydrocortisone cream. How does, okay. Okay. Um, so if it's okay with you, I'd like to start off with your new medication first. All right. So this is warfarin. And what did your provider tell you that this is used for? Um, for my heart condition. Yep. So warfarin is a blood thinner. Um, so it's used to prevent and treat blood clots um, associated with heart conditions. Um, have you taken this medication before? No. No? Okay. Um, and this is what it looks like. All right. And then how did your practitioner tell you to um, take this medication? I mean, I've never had to take a medication every day. I don't even know how I'm going to do all of this. Yeah. So I can totally understand how it can be um, frustrating or just maybe a little nerve wracking when you're starting a new medication, especially when you have to start taking it every day. Um, but we can definitely work together on this just to make sure you understand everything and that you're confident um, by the time you leave the pharmacy and taking your medication. All right. Um, so the warfarin, you're going to be taking two milligrams um, once a day. So again, it also helps that you're not taking uh, multiple times a day. Um, so we can, um, again, make you confident and um, just some tips and tricks to remember to take it every day. So you're taking it once a day and you have two refills. Okay. Um, if you miss a dose, that's okay. I know you're new to this process. Um, it's really important to take the medication every single day, but I know things happen and especially now everything's crazy so life gets in the way if you miss a dose take it whenever you remember um, unless it's almost time to take your next medication um, so a good um, like halfway point um, so if you usually take your medication at 8 a.m. Um, but you forget that one morning you have until 8 p.m. that night to take your medication if you still forget then just take your next um, day your morning dose does that make sense yeah, yeah I guess Okay, um, you never want to double up on any of your medication because um, we don't want to have any serious side effects or anything like that. So again, just take it whenever you remember, unless it's almost time to take your next dose, then just take that next dose. Okay? Okay. Um, and where do you plan on storing this medication? Um, probably in like a kitchen cabinet. Yeah, I usually say the best place is in a kitchen cabinet, just somewhere it's going to um, protect the drug, so a cool, um, dark, dry place, but also somewhere you're going to remember to take it. Um, so that's very good. All right. Um, and then what did your practitioner tell you to expect with this medication? She said I have to stop eating green leafy vegetables and broccoli. And I love those foods. I'm just so frustrated with all of this. And honestly, I'm not even sure that I will take this medication. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is you're frustrated with the medication, um, just because it might um, change your lifestyle and change the foods that you're about to eat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I totally understand how that can be frustrating. Um, like a new medication in general, having to take that every day can be a little nerve wracking and how you're going to fit into your schedule. But then also now you have to um, not eat the foods that you like. Um, this medication is really important. Um, it works with vitamin K in your body. So those green leafy vegetables are um, vitamin K sources. So that's why you can't eat the green leafy vegetables as normal. Um, so I am sorry about that. Um, I know that can be frustrating. Um, additionally, you don't want to eat or drink grapefruit juice. I don't know if you're a big grapefruit juice drinker. Um, it affects how the body breaks down the drug. 
Um, but again, it's really important to take this medication every single day. I understand that you're frustrated, but we do want to prevent um, any further complications and further heart problems and just get you as healthy as possible. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Um, besides that, um, you want to look out for any allergic reactive symptoms because this is a new drug in your body. We don't know how your body's going to react. So any itching, um, redness, hives, you would want to call your provider right away about that. Um, additionally, um, if you have any um, bleeding that won't stop or bruising, you'd want to call them as well about that right away. Okay. And then your doctor's going to give you blood tests just to see how this medication is working over time for you. Um, so again, it's really important to take this medication. Um, as prescribed. Okay. I know that was a lot. This is a serious medication. There's a lot of information. Um, just to make sure I didn't miss out on anything, can you tell me how you're going to take this? Um, I think you said once a day. Yep. So you're going to be taking it once a day. Again, if you missed a dose, um, uh, take it whenever you remember, unless it's almost time for that next dose and you never want to double up on the medications. Okay. Um, what questions do you have for you uh, for me about this? Uh, nothing. This was just a lot. I. This is just something I have there's just so much I have to change. I have to take this medicine every day. I have to go to the doctor's office to check my blood every week. And I have to change my diet. But to top it all off, I have to do this for the rest of my life. And it's just too much. I know I won't remember to take this medication every day. Yeah, I totally understand how you can be feeling. And um, I know it can be really frustrating. Um, I can give you some tips and tricks if you want. Um, I know some patients use apps, like a reminder app, if that's um, the issue that you're not going to remember to take it. Um, if you have an Apple or an Android phone, um, I can work together with you and we can download some apps and um, set them up. Um, so they give you reminders every morning or maybe if you take it every night. Um, with the um, changes in your diet, um, I can hook you up with a nutritionist um, just so that you can get some more information and more direction on what you should be eating. Um, because again, you said you eat the green leafy vegetables. So you're probably like, what else? can I eat? Um, so we can hook you up with the nutritionist if that sounds good to you. I don't know if any of those options seem um, that would work for you. Are you interested in any of this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so if it's okay with you, we can work on the app right after I go through your um, ointment, your refill prescription. So we can download some apps together and just kind of work on it together and see if we can get it set up for you. Um, as far as the nutritionist, I can reach out to a uh, nutritionist later on today and give you a call tomorrow morning, if that sounds okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll reach out to a nutritionist um, and just see if um, you guys can maybe connect and then just talk over a different um, way of eating or just different things that you should include in your diet and things that you should avoid. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so let's move on to your refill medication, then we'll come back to the apps. So this is clobetazole ointment. And then what have you been taking this for or applying this for? Yeah, I sometimes get this rash in my arm. It doesn't happen often, maybe like four to five times a year. Yeah, so this is used for um, skin disorders. Um, and you said you have eczema, so it's going to help um, protect the skin and um, heal it um, with that. Um, and then this is what it looks like. Um, and how have you been taking this medication? I mean, I usually just rub it onto the rash. Yeah, so I have here the directions are take twice a day as needed, and you said it only happens sometimes. Um, so when you do have an outbreak, you'd want to um, take it twice a day or apply it twice a day, and you just want to rub um, a little bit in gently just to make sure you cover the area, but not way too much. Um, again, um, with this medication, you don't want to use too much to just prevent some of the side effects and stuff like that. Um, and then what side effects have you been experiencing with this medication, if any? Um. I have to leave in about a minute, but um, I don't think so. Sometimes I, I don't really have any um, questions, but sometimes I mix it with the hydrocortisone cream. Is that okay? Um, I'm not completely sure on that. I will double check and get back to you on that. I just want to make sure I have the correct answer um, before I give you some additional information. So when I call you tomorrow morning about the nutritionist, I can um, tell you more about that as well, if that's okay. Okay. Okay, I know you said you had to go, um, but if you see any other um, side effects as pain or redness or anything like that, you would want to call your doctor um, and just check in with them on that. If you have any additional questions, I'm giving you a call tomorrow so we can talk about them then, um, or you can always call the pharmacy and I'll be happy to help you with anything. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Have a great day. I'm sorry? Uh, thank you so much for meeting with me. I hope you have a great day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. 
Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thanks.